Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, I'd like us to take a deeper dive into really understanding what a function is and what it's all about and how it works. Now, in the past couple of videos, we've looked at function machines and function notation, but we haven't actually come up with a solid definition on what a function is. We're gonna start off with our definition saying that a function is a relation, and another word for relation is just an equation, where every input, and since we've been color coding our inputs as blue, I'm gonna color code that word as blue, okay? Where every input has, and this is the most important part of our definition, has one and only one output. That is what our definition for a function is going to be, okay? That's what makes a relation or an equation a function, okay? The only way it's gonna be a function is that for every input, it only has one and only one output, okay? So think back to our function machines, okay? Think about how we were dropping in those inputs into the function machine, okay? For every input that I drop in, only one output can come out from that input. We can't be able to have one input go in and then have two separate outputs. That's just not gonna work for us. So a great example that really helps most students understand what a function is and how it works is a vending machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a really, really terrible uh, drawing of a vending machine. Um, but the whole point and purpose of a function can be found in vending machines, okay? So let me go ahead and draw this soda machine. Got that where the soda comes out. And let's say that we have uh, three buttons on this vending machine, okay? We have button one, two, and three. Now, for our purpose, let's say that if we hit number one, it gives us out a cola. Okay, if we hit number two, let's say this gives us a orange soda. And if we hit number three, it gives us a grape soda. Okay, so I want you to kind of think about this soda machine as a function machine. Think about how when you're at a soda machine, you're pondering what you're gonna buy. When you push the button for your soda, that's actually your input. That's why I wrote them in blue. Okay, that's the input. What the output is, is it's gonna be the soda coming out of the machine. So let's go ahead and look at an example of some inputs and some outputs of a soda machine. And hopefully this can help you understand how a soda machine is really just a function machine. So let's say that I walk up to a soda machine and I hit button number one, right? I wanted a cola. And let's say that a cola pops out. We would say that this vending machine is functioning properly. Okay, it's functioning properly. I hit number one, I, I wanted a cola, a cola came out. Okay, let's say my friend behind me, he's kind of thirsty too and he wants to get an orange soda. So he pushes button number two. And for him, out pops an orange soda. Okay, so right now, this machine is still functioning properly. I hit a one, I got my cola, I hit a two, I got an orange. Okay, let's say the guy after him also wanted an orange soda. He hits button number two and he also gets out an orange soda. So right now, this machine's functioning properly. Every time we hit our input button, we're getting exactly the output that we want, okay? Now let's say I finish my cola, I wanna go back to the vending machine and I wanna get another cola. So I walk up and I push the button for number one. But when I push the button for number one, what if instead of getting a cola, a grape soda pops out? Okay, now we would say that this vending machine is not functioning properly. And the reason why it's not functioning properly is, is that when I have an input of one, I'm getting two different outputs. And that makes this vending machine not a function because our definition says that for every input, I have one 
and only one output. And right now, when I push number one, I'm actually able to get two different outputs and that is not okay for this vending machine. Okay, that means that the vending machine is not functioning properly. Okay, and so hopefully this kind of helps you see and realize um, that vending machines are kind of a great example of what a function is, right? And, and what the, the main issue is, is that for every input, I can only have one output. Okay, looking back, when our, my friend walked up and they both pushed button number two, they both got orange. The function, the, the vending machine was functioning properly. But when I go up to the vending machine and try to get another cola, and, and it gives me a grape instead of a cola, then that machine is no longer functioning properly. We would say that it's not a function. All right, in the next video, we're gonna take another look at this example and see if we can tweak it a bit to really further that deepening of your understanding of what a function is. It's that math magician, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.